It's no secret that AI is absolutely revolutionizing many different industries, but the biggest problem right now with AI and actually accessing it as an everyday user is there's always paywalls and you don't have the freedom to actually create without spending all your credits and then having to pay more. But today we're going to be talking about GenTube because GenTube actually have unlimited creations and no paywalls on their platform. They literally just want you to go wild and create as many different images as possible. So that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So here we are in GenTube and you can see the high fidelity images on the screen right now that various people have created. Now these guys do something a little bit unique here. One is obviously this is all completely free and unlimited and they actually allow you to input emojis to actually spruce up an image more. So the younger audience out there will definitely benefit from this a lot. So you saw I just clicked that bar at the top here. This is where we go to actually start creating. So let's do that now. Let's say we type a cat in a living room and see what it comes up with. And here you go, it looks fantastic. And you wouldn't actually be able to tell that this was AI. So when it comes to actually using this to create, I don't know, Instagram pages or anything like this, you could do so very easily with this for free with no limits. Now, if we wanted to add stuff to this, let's go over to the emoji section here where yes, we can add, let's say the fire emoji and see what happens. And then just like that, the cat is in the living room, but now the living room is on fire simply by adding an emoji to this. Now we can get rid of this and we can pick a different emoji here. So let's just say a rocket and then let's see if it adds a rocket to this image as well. Boom, right out of the gate, literally within a couple seconds, you can see a rocket is now in the living room with the cat. So, I mean, just off the bat here, you can see that this thing is pretty incredible. Now, if you're not someone that prompts a lot, what you can do here is actually just press this little magic button here on the left-hand side. What it's gonna do instead is actually take our prompt and then change it to something that's a little bit more detailed in which yes, we're gonna get a much better image out of it as you can see here. And then if we did want to add separate things, we can do so there as well. And as you can see here guys, this is super fast. In fact, I've not interacted with another AI platform that is this good and this fast and is free and unlimited. So if you're running a cat page, for example, here, you could do so and grow that cat page with tons of different content uh, that you can generate. I mean, you could literally generate hundreds of these photos in like an hour and have all of the content ready for the next three months for your page and just schedule those posts and let it grow. So fantastic stuff there. This is a great way to get content for free and without any paywalls. But how do we go about generating an image like this? Extreme detail, something that looks fantastic, something that yes, I think you could be used for a lot of different types of content. Now, what these guys do very, very well on the Gen2 platform is they have these things called blocks. So you can see here, this is a block there, but the blocks are all on the right hand side here. So all we gotta do is pick a few of these. Let's just say the magician woman you can go through and pick a bunch of these different blocks, add them, and then they're basically gonna use that as a prompt to generate an image. Let's go with hyper-realistic here, and then we will see what it comes up with. So we've got the magician woman in a city, where it's cold and it's hyper realistic. So she's wearing a lot more clothes here. She is in a city and this looks incredibly realistic for sure. So that's just an example of how you can use blocks here, but you can go through and actually look at all of these different blocks and create your own image without having to come up with your own prompts. And this is something that I think is a massive hurdle, particularly for the younger generation when it comes to prompting AI. Why would you want to type in a massive paragraph when you can just pick a bunch of these that vaguely describe what you want? And I think that is fantastic. But let's go ahead and create here we can see we've got a new subject and then yes, we can do emoji, place, style, and this is where we can actually create our own blocks. So our blocks would come up here. We could basically click those and they're gonna come up as the style for, for the image. So let's just type in anything here. We can do love hug, okay, just literally anything. And then yes, we can describe this of course, but we can also use this little magic button again to describe it for us. So softly glowing warm lights in a cozy candlelit evening around a delicate tender moment for two loving figures in 
embracing each other in a tight, comforting love hug. So good stuff there. We can then create that subject, as you can see, and then it's going to add that subject to our image. So we've got a woman here. She is now hugging some clothes and we've just applied that block that we've made ourselves to this image. I think that's something that's really cool because now I can actually go to my blocks here and it's gonna show up love hug. I can then apply that to any image that I come up with. Now, as well as that, they also give you your own profile so you can go through all the images that you've created, but you can also see my channels as well here. And we can also go and explore what the community are doing as well. So we go to the new tab, and you can see all the different things that people are making here, which I think is fantastic. We can then explore on the left as well if we want to, and we can even go to trending to see what the most people are looking at. So they've really actually gamified and made this more socialized uh, than uh, just a simple prompting image generator. And again, guys, I just want to reiterate that this is completely free and unlimited to use. This actually puts itself at the top when it comes to AI image generation because everything else out there right now is gated and has a paywall. So that is GenTube. Definitely check it out in the description. This can be used for literally anything, whether it's a page on Facebook or whether it is for imagery in your YouTube videos, literally anything out there you can actually make here. And you've got that block feature as well, which makes the prompting so much easier. That's gonna be it from me. I will see you in the next video.